Today, we are going to discuss about the difference between faith and belief. That is different between faith and belief. They are not the same. Sometimes, some Christians, they call faith belief. They call belief faith. That is why, by the help of Holy Spirit, this message is coming on your way. So that you will be able to know how these two goes in the kingdom of God. God bless you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Facebook page at Anthony Ministry TV. And also join me together to save lives by sharing this message, forward it to your contact. Please, let us save life. Hallelujah. What is different between faith and belief? I want to start on the area of belief before we go to faith. What is the meaning of belief? The Bible makes us to understand in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. And the Bible says, We have the same spirit of faith, according to as it is written, I believe, therefore have I spoken. We also believed, and therefore we speak. So, belief comes forth before faith. It is belief that generates faith. And when any child of God remains on the platform, on the altar, or the level of belief, he will not get anything from the Lord. Because the Bible said that faith, nobody can please God. So now, belief means that I am, I am reading the scripture. The Lord said something. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and seek my face, and turn away from all their sins. I, the Lord, shall hear them from heaven. I, the Lord, shall deliver them. So now, when I read that scripture, I believe what God said there. I believe that if I can humble myself, call upon the name of the Lord, the Lord will hear me, and the Lord will deliver me. This is belief now. But when I go ahead after believing that the Lord will fulfill what he said and now humble myself and call upon the name of the Lord, pray to him, that is faith. That my action now is faith. Sometimes people go to church, a minister of gospel, a preacher of gospel says something, they jump up, they claim it, amen, amen. After they will not do it. Jesus was preaching in one certain place. Somebody hearing the message that Jesus was preaching, hearing the wonderful, the mystery, the rhema that followed Jesus' message, how inspired the message was. And the person shouted and said, Blessed is the womb that bearing thee, and the breast whom thou suckest. But Jesus said to her, No, rather, can you see? No, but rather, Blessed is he that heareth the word of God. After hearing it, he do it. Doing the word is faith. Hearing is where belief, conviction comes from. But it will move you to the realm of faith. So stop remaining in the realm of hearing and believing. Go to another higher realm of faith. That is to say, when you hear the word of God, because faith comes by hearing. That is to say, conviction comes by hearing. Hearing by the word of God that will trigger you to take action. That will trigger you to take action. Look at what the Bible said. The Bible makes us to understand the time epidemic was killing children of Israel in the wilderness. They call upon the name of the Lord. The Lord said to Moses, set up a serpent grown serpent that whosoever serpent bite on the ground if he can be able to lift up his eyes to that pole where you set up that bronze serpent the person will be supernaturally healed so now there are a lot of people in the wilderness the serpent bite them 
Then some of them may be complaining, oh, the serpent is very painful. Oh, how painful the violence of this serpent is. Oh, how painful it is. Somebody there may be telling them, look up now, look up now. He say, leave me alone, leave me alone. This thing is so painful. The person will die there. There are a lot of people, if the serpent by them, no matter how painful it is, no matter how painful the venom of serpent was, they will manage to lift up their eyes because they believe that what God said, God will fulfill it. They believe that what God said, that God will fulfill it, that if they can look to that serpent and see that one Moses set up on the pole, that he will be healed. So he will manage believing, he believed, but when he look up, he become faith. He become faith. A lot of people believe that following God, they will see a lot of blessing there. But they are following God, hearing the word of God, all the messages, all the scriptures, all the Bible verses, all the word of God they have been hearing on the altar of God. They never engage on it. That is why nothing is working for them. Some people go to church and go to ministry, they are excited, especially when they see the manifestation of the power of God, seeing the manifestation, the movement of the Holy Spirit in the congregation. And they are very, very excited. They, they shouted, they celebrate, they say, oh, today service is wonderful, today service is powerful, hallelujah. But when they go, they, they get nothing. Their life never change. Nothing has ever changed. Their finance never change. Their health never change. Their situation never change. Satan is still oppressing them because the word they are hearing, they believe the word they are hearing, but they never acted on that word. So there is difference between faith and belief. If you are a child of God watching this message right now, in order to grow to God's word, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook page. That is why God set up this platform, this platform of YouTube and this platform of Facebook, so that this word of God can come to you. You will know the truth of the gospel. This channel is for any child of God that wants to grow in the knowledge of God. This platform is for any child of God, irrespective of your denomination, that want to grow in the word of God. I come and can tell one man the other day, he was telling me through the gospel of the kingdom of God, as I was preaching, the man, the Lord began to open his eyes. He said, Pastor, I never believed that I can hear the voice of God. I thought that only general overseer, like the churches he was going to before, only that general overseer can hear the voice of God. I said, no, his mistake. And I tried to tell him everything about scripture. Before you know what is happening, he began to hear the voice of God. And the Lord began to use him. Because the darkness, the, the, uh, the, the Satan used ignorance, darkness called ignorance to hold born again. God is not happy that he sees many children of God suffering in one way or the other. But because they don't know how it works. The Bible makes us to understand that my people go to captivity because they lack knowledge. They lack knowledge. They now ended up in captivity. In the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 5, verse Isaiah chapter 5, verse 13 to 17. Go and read it. Isaiah chapter 5 from verse 13 to 17. My people went to captivity because they lack knowledge. They lack knowledge. Satan captured them. Satan put them under. Satan continued maltreating them. In as much as Jesus have made the devil wretched, in as much as Jesus have Within Satan, in as much as Jesus has stripe off all the power that Satan possesses, people, even children of God, many of them ignorantly are still under the power of Satan, are still under the intimidation of Satan, are passing through hell in the hand of Satan. And that is why God decided to bring this message to your way. That is why God decided that you can hear this message. And as you are hearing this message now, Share it to many people of your contacts so that they will know the word of God. They all will hear this gospel as you are hearing it now. Forget about the church you are going. Let us talk about scripture. Let us talk about Jesus so that you will grow in the things of God. You will grow in God. Hallelujah. So now, when you believe God, thank God for believing God. Thank God for believing that God can do all things. Thank God for believing there is power in the name of the Lord. Thank God for believing that with God all things are possible. 
But until you do what he said, you will not get it. So believing generates strength in you to take action called faith. Believe comes forth before faith. Faith is the action taken based on your belief or your conviction. So you can call belief conviction. You can call it belief. You can call it conviction. Faith is the action taken based on the conviction or the belief in your heart for that particular thing. The action you take is faith. Is the action you take that called faith. For instance, before we run up, let me give you an example. When I got married, the Lord appeared to me and the Lord promised me that he will bless me with children and if that blessings and material things, favor shall surround me and will not look for anyone. The day I married was the day I had an encounter with the Lord. And after many years, I look around me, I saw my children, I saw my five children, five children. And I remember the encounter I had with the Lord. I said, God, these are the children here around me, as you said. But where is the prosperity? Where is the money you promised me? The Spirit of the Lord called me and said, you, that I kept the law of fruitfulness and I violate, I keep on violating the laws of prosperity. I said, what? He asked me a question. I said, when you marry, and the Lord promised that you will have children, but you never have time to stay together with your wife. Will your wife conceive and have all these children around you today? I said, no. It's okay. For you to sleep with your wife, stay with your wife, means that you perform your responsibility as a man in the area of fruitfulness. That is why God fulfilled what he said. And you violate the laws of the prosperity you're supposed to keep. That day, my eyes opened. My eyes opened. Remember that I believe that the Lord will fulfill what he said. But God never fulfilled that one. It's called prosperity. I began to learn the ways of God. began to learn the secret of God. The secret of prosperity. The secret of favor. The secret of blessing. I began to learn it from different men of God. From the mentor I love so much. Joshua Seaman. From my father in the Lord I love so much. I love so much. Bishop David Onyedebo. And then the man of God, my soul, cherish, Apostle Arame or Sai, I began to follow them, hearing their messages, following them, hearing their messages. Before I know what is happening, I began to see light. Because true knowledge shall the right shall be delivered. So now, when you listen to this message now, know the difference between faith and belief. Oh, God bless you. As this message comes on your way, apply everything you are hearing here. You will see the results. I decree that the blessings of God rest upon you. May the Lord God Almighty show you favor, show you mercy. May God Almighty go before you. May whatsoever, whatsoever area Satan has been holding you in bondage, I command your deliverance right now in Jesus' name. God bless you. See you next time.